If you've watched any Dead Cells videos since the release of the Everyone Is Here Volume 2 update, you've probably heard about just how broken the baseball bat weapon is. After trying it out, a lot of people, myself included, really thought that Motion Twin was going to nerf the baseball bat into the ground with the release of the Return to Castlevania update, which has been out for a couple days now. Turns out I finally found the patch notes for the Return to Castlevania update, and there's only one thing that they did to the baseball bat, and it's really kind of hard to qualify it as a real nerf. All it says is the baseball bat cannot breach on crit anymore to prevent an infinite crit exploit. So when I read that the first time, I didn't really understand what it meant because I'd never heard of the term breach in Dead Cells before, but on the wiki there's a page that breaks down a lot of the hidden mechanics in Dead Cells, and this is what it says about breach. If the player significantly damages an enemy while they're in the middle of an attack or defensive maneuver, the overwhelming force may breach that enemy's defenses, interrupting the maneuver and stunning them for 1.4 seconds. So a breach stun is that random stun you see when you are beating the absolute wheels off of an enemy, even if you don't have anything that specifically says that it stuns on hit or interrupts enemies or anything like that. All this change really means is if you do manage to stun an enemy through breach or anything like that and trigger crits for the baseball bat, you're not going to be able to keep enemies perma-stunned with those crits anymore which you can't breach bosses at all, so it's not like this is nerfing the baseball bat's bossing ability. It's it's really a change that only affects biomes, and as you can see by what's going on in the background, we're not really relying on breach or anything at all. We're just using something to trigger crits, and then baseball bat is basically one-shotting just about everything uh, with, the, with the first crit. So as you can see, that doesn't really have much effect on gameplay beyond probably the toxic sewers or the, the second biome. The baseball bat is still probably 99% as broken as it was in the previous update, so I for one am quite glad about that because I really enjoy the baseball bat, I think it's one of the most fun weapons they've added, and since Dead Cells is a single player non-competitive game, I don't think it's a horrible thing for there to be some weapons that are just flat out stronger than others. I'm glad we'll get to enjoy the baseball bat for at least another update before they uh, make up their minds to nerf it. Who knows what they'll do in the future, but for now, we get to have fun with it. Let me know what you think. Do you think they should have nerfed the baseball bat into the ground? Are you happy they left it alone? for the most part. Is there any other change you would like to see made to the weapon to maybe make it a little more reasonable? Let me know and thanks for watching.